So I decided to make a video because uh, I'm farting around with this guy. This is a 1990-ish Ampeg AX70 guitar combo amp. Has very interesting features. Um, I will show them to you if I can turn this around, which I can't, can I? No, because I decided to start a video this way. Okay, well, here we go. I'm just going to show it to you. Camera here. So my jacks are messed up and my pots are all dirty and this guy needs some servicing. But So you can probably hear the buzz. But um, yeah, here we go. We're going to go through the features of what we got. We got your input section there with the lovely impact. Level. By the way, this one has a Celestian in it. It's a nice speaker, actually. Um, so you got the uh, 0 and 6 dB inputs. You got a channel A, which is the distorted channel. And it's got these weird features. It's got a gain knob. It's got a presence knob with a low pullout. Ultra mid, which is the craziest mid sculpting thing I've ever seen on any amp. It's insane. I'll show you in a second. Uh, level, which, yeah, obviously. Level. Yeah. Um, and that switches the channel. When you don't have the foot switch, which I do. I actually have the foot switch. The AFP2, classic Ampeg foot switch. Um, channel B is the clean channel. Um, I can't really turn anything up right now because baby's sleeping upstairs. Although he's not a baby, he's four, but whatever. Anyway, here we go. Um, so channel B, get your gain, your low, your mid, and uh, this one pulls out, and it's a bright pull. And it has the craziest Accutronic spring reverb in it. It gets all sprinky and shit. It's so cool. But, um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to start off with the, the gain channel with some reverb. Not too much. But here's the, this is, okay, this is with the gain low. And the mids, like right dead center. The presence, I'll put the presence up a little bit too. Without the low pull. So it sounds right. Not a whole lot to it. Hold on. Uh, well, this, how do I do this? I film myself, I don't know. This is such a hacked, impromptu video. <laughs> I don't have anything to stand it on. <laughs> I did not plan this correctly, people. Okay, whatever. Here we go. I don't even just gonna pick it up. Turn the volume down. Not too much. So this is the gain at about three nine o'clock. Presence at eleven, mid, whatever. So then the mids, if you turn the gain up and you turn the mids down, you gotta be careful with the low. It gets really metallica. Especially when you pull the bass thing out. Turn the presence down a little bit. Keep the mids low. Turn the gain up. It's very like... Especially if I turn the presence up. Modern guitarists were curious. There's more gain. There's more gain. It's really fizzy with the presence there. Mind you, this is 1990. a nice balanced high gain sound. I don't know if it's sounding good at all with the position of the camera, but whatever. But pillowy fat, you know, like my belly, pillowy fat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then you go into full-on Brian May Boston territory. So 
that's the other end of the ultra Also, this is a very low volume. And this thing just wants to keep going. That's not even the gain. That's the gain at like one o'clock. it up so it works So yeah, um, this thing's pretty cool. And uh, <laughs> I just tells you, the ultra mid goes like this. Totally scoops it. It's <laughs> such a radical change. Another clean channel. Nice and sprinky. It gets really clinky reverb. Hear that? Got that. Very fendery. It's almost like this amp was trying to be like a different version of like an orange meets a fender. It's full ice pick if I pull out the bright. Oh, that is the bright switch. <laughs> that was why it sounded like that. Much better. Ampeg AX70. This was my first amp, my first real amp. Um, I stole, stole, bartered, stole sort of my brother's uh, gorilla. That really doesn't count. Um, but this guy played in a music store with the Les Paul with my roommate, Guitar Center in San Diego when it was on El Cajon Boulevard, and um, just fell in love with it. Just great. Now I want to get the zero dB input working better because then you have even more gain. Um, and so that's good for like low low output guitars but the minus six is perfect for something with hot pickups like this guy this is my um by the way i've talked about this guitar before this is my um can't really see how nice it is but uh that's 299 dollars 300 dollars with 324 dollars or whatever with tax uh m Musi virgo fusion chinese guitar roasted maple necks locking tuners it's just ridiculous anyway um yeah so run and gun video about the ampeg ax70 with a little sauce on my uh mus for confusion so um that's it that's all for tonight and i hope you guys have a pleasant tomorrow and i hope these idiots won tonight i don't know i haven't checked i haven't checked i can't bear to check so uh yeah Hashtag let's go Mets or let's go Mets next year. <laughs> anyway, take care.